There we are. This is a very interesting map. I forgot what its name was, unfortunately, but a lot of fun here with the Panzer 3 4. This is an earlier match, so I don't do too much Circle of Deathing, but I do some decent ramming. This was a very old match. But this is another match that proved to me that the Panzer 3 4 is a very capable tank if you play it properly. It is like the Panzer 3 in the sense that it demands to be played aggressively. And actually, I don't see too many people go up on this flank that I'm going to embark on so long as I get up the hill. And you do need a pretty fast tank to do it. You want to get up there before tank destroyers and the occasional heavy tank or wolf pack comes up through there. Because if you do it properly, you'll be able to get behind the enemies. And also, you can hit some tank destroyers camping on the hillside, which usually happens. I don't know why that M37 just fired a shot off while he was rolling. I think it's, 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 it's a bit like the random grenade killed in Call of Duty 4. And even World of War sometimes. I think that's what he was trying to go for. Nope, he didn't get anybody. <laughs> this actually isn't a bad area for to defend them because notice the bridge, notice all the little gaps in between. That can be a nice route you can take if you're on the defensive. I can't say it always works though. I did almost kill Type 59 with the Panther once. That was pretty fun because he, he showed his backside to me and I started shooting him and I, I did a small... It wasn't a circle, it was more like a half circle of death run. I just kept driving to one side, then the other, one side, then the other. <laughs> he thought the enemy tanks on my team, or rather the enemy, the enemy tanks to his front were more important than me. Unfortunately, yeah, that wasn't the case. So also, I believe another round here I used the Panther and I killed the Patton. He was in pretty bad shape, so I just shot him inside arm a couple times. That was pretty fun. See, the important thing about doing this flank here you want to stay towards the edges of the map, otherwise Artie and other tanks will have an easier time seeing you. Yeah, this almost reminds me of Battlefield Bad Company 2 when I take the far most flank and just ride the outskirts of the map. It's a lot safer that way. And you can bring a couple tanks with you. I won't bring any more than two tanks with you though, because then it gets harder to mask your movements. One tank is just fine. Ah, uh, here we go. Was that a martyr or something? Uh, here I have to halt the fire. Now I actually got a hit on him, which is cool. For extreme long-range shots like that, I usually halt to fire. This was an older match, so I usually just halted to fire anyway, but I tend to stray away from long-range combat. It's very, very tedious in this game. I, I prefer close to middle. And my puppy ate a piece of wood, so she wants to swallow it. Yum. What do we have here? Sturmpanzer II! Here I shouldn't have stopped. I mean, I hit him, but it didn't do any damage. It just went right through him without doing damage. That shot killed him, though, which was nice. What do we got here? There's a grill. He wants to roast me on his grill. Ooh, that was a close. Ooh, hee hee. That was way too close. The Panzer 3 4 had the same idea I did. Let's hit that artillery battery. So he comes charging at him. I think he dies. Nope, never mind. Maybe? I can't tell. I think the grill might get him here. Yeah, the grill's on him. I don't know how it is. Oh, smush! There we go. That was beautiful. So this part here, this was a bit of a mistake on my end. I should have sent my tank right up the hill. I should have gone through the village here, just caught a hard left and went up the hill. Instead, I tried to get the invader award by capturing a base when there are artillery batteries overlooking it. Not a good idea. See, they had like three pieces of artillery. That's crazy. <laughs> There'd be no way in heck I could... Yeah, say I'm already getting it. It takes me a little while to realize this. Then some other Panzer 3 4 is coming back me up, but it's not enough. Those artillery guys are pretty good. They have the high ground, too, so it's not like they had much of a difficulty hitting us. And I tell the guys to get under the guns, because the artillery is designed to traverse up, not down. And that actually works. So this isn't going too bad. Actually, here I... W it's coming out by one hit kill and artillery battery. That was quite douchey. I didn't think that would happen. I thought I'd at least have to hit him twice. But I guess the game is occasionally nice to me. I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll take a kill like that, but I don't usually get him. I just think of shoot and then ram, especially if it's a really big piece of artillery that can kill you quickly. Shoot it once inside, then ram him. There we go. There's the one hit kill. I'm about to hit this guy. This should have been a kill. See, I hit him in the hall. But, oh well. Oh well. Not bad. I think there's one more tank on the enemy team, and he's actually at our base. But he died. Our Sturmhanzer 2 got him, I think. Or SU-5. That was good. That was very good. Ended up with three kills on this round, which 
was not bad. I will definitely accept that. And we also have some damages, I believe. Yeah, damage at T28. So this is a pretty fun run. This just goes to show, don't underestimate the power of a good flank with the Panzer 3-4. If you do, you do so at your own risk. <laughs> Thanks for watching.